What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, which you should, <laughs> and now that Instagram is kind of like Snapchat, I don't, wh which one do you guys prefer, Instagram or Snapchat? Because I love the filters on Snapchat better than Instagram, but Instagram's fun because I get to interact with a lot more people. If you guys follow me, you will have known that a few weeks ago, I think, I went on a date night with Daniel and I did my makeup a certain way and everyone was asking me how I did my makeup and you guys know that I rarely rarely wear makeup in the summer but for like events or let's say I'm going on a date night I love to like glam myself up a little bit and I'm by no means a makeup artist but I love to experiment with makeup and have fun with it so I decided to do a summer date night makeup tutorial which it's not really a makeup tutorial you guys don't have to follow these steps at all I just thought that I would show you guys what I did to myself when I did my makeup. I was lucky enough to partner with L'Oreal to bring you this video. They actually sent me three of their newest products, so I kind of incorporated all my other products with the three new ones, and I'm loving it. If you're interested in seeing how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Starting off with a clean face, I always put my hair up when I do my makeup, but then I actually decided to leave it like this because I thought it was really cute. I'm going in with some foundation, making sure that it's just evenly spread throughout my face. I'm just using my beauty blender to do this, and I just really like the finish that this foundation gives. It's definitely a medium coverage, but I really like the way that it makes my skin glowy, and it doesn't leave it shiny or anything like that. If ever you need to build up, you can. It doesn't look cakey or anything. Then going in with my concealer just to cover up any of the redness or blemishes that I have. Using my new favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Kit, this stuff is amazing because it comes with the contour and the highlight in one. The contour is matte, it just looks really good, and the highlight as well. So I make sure that I just keep in the 3E section of my face, and sometimes I will do under my bottom lip as well as on the sides of my nose. But for the most part, I keep it kind of basic where the sun would naturally hit your face. And then as the highlight, I make sure I keep it on the high points, but if you really want to know, on the actual contour kit, it gives you an explanation with um, a picture of where to apply the product, which I thought was really helpful because I followed along and it looked really, really good. For eyeshadow, I have been loving this palette just because there's a lot of neutral, kind of simple tones in it, but they look really, really good on green eyes, I find especially, but any color eyes you have, it'll look nice. I just have been loving this at the moment. So I kind of mix up shades, making sure that I keep in the creases of my eyes and put them up on my brow bone a little bit. I was told that since I have such hooded eyes, I've said this multiple times, but because I have hooded eyes, I need to bring the eyeshadow up more or else if when I open my eyes you won't see anything because I have such hooded eyes. So I just bring it up on my brow bone and focus it in the crease. I then bring some color underneath my eyes, and this is kind of hard to film, believe it or not, but um, I kept going cross-eyed, because I'm like blind. <laughs> but um, I really like the way that this looks. Then putting some lighter shades on the center of my lid, as well as my brow bone and inner corners to brighten up the look. And then the most important part of all is blending, because you don't want it to look harsh or crazy or anything like that. Okay, I lied. This is actually the hardest thing to film ever because I need to be super close to a mirror. So I actually had to get up and like go stand in front of my mirror to be able to put the eyeliner on because I'm really bad at filming this and I was going out of frame. But this is how it turned out. I love the wing and I love the way that this eyeliner looks. Going in with the new Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Mascara. This mascara is so cool. First of all, 
the wand is so amazing and so unique and it just gives your eyelashes the most fluttery effect ever and I think that's the whole point of it is that since it's called like the butterfly sculpt it's like fluttery and your eyelashes look so pretty and long and I love the way it looks on my eyelashes my eyelashes are very small um, naturally so this just makes them get so big and voluminous I just love the effect that it gives. Look at that. It's so nice. On to the lips. I'm using the La Palette Lip in the Nude Shades. And you can use any shade you want, but the one that I'm going to be using today, I'm actually going to do like an ombre. So I take the darker shade, I put it all around is if I'm lining my lips and then I take the one right next to it and I put it on the outsides of my lips and then the lighter color I put on the center and this just makes it like the perfect nude and I've been trying this out for a little bit and I love the way it looks. The consistency of this like lip product is really moisturizing and normally I would have to apply like a lip liner or a lip balm or something that like keeps the color but this stuff I could just use on its own and it lasts for such a long time. It looks so beautiful and I'm just obsessed with it at the moment. So this is the finished look. I absolutely love it and I actually really like wearing my hair up like this too because it really shows off the makeup. It's like subtle but not really and I think it's perfect for a date night but in all reality you can use this makeup tutorial for anything. I just really love the liner, I love the lips, I love the mascara and the contour, everything about it. It's just, I just really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I still sound sick because I am. I've had a cold for literally two weeks and it's the worst thing ever because it's the summer and all I want to do is be outside and not sleep, but can't do that. Also, let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see next. I do have back to school videos planned. I don't know when I should start making them. Like, when do you guys go back to school? Because I don't know if I should do it like, last year I did it more near the end of August, like August 20th. Is that like a good time, like around that area? Like a back to school haul, back to school lookbook. Um, and if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. All the links for the products I use will be listed down below, so don't forget to check that out. And don't forget that I love you, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!